there's been a lot of talk, obviously, with market, what's going to happen to it. Um, and I, I kind of know what your what your opinion on this on this, but I, I do want to have you share it as well. It's like, do you think there will be a repeat of recession 2008? Uh, here coming up in 2022, 2023, even maybe even dragging it out for a little bit longer. So what do you think is yeah. going to happen with the market? 100% no on the 2008 scenario. So that, that, it was a different set of circumstances. We had over leverage uh, where basically anyone who had a pulse could get a loan. We don't have that today. We had homes underwater. We don't, we, we don't have that today. We, we have historically high equity in homes. Um, so those two circumstances caused a spiral out of control of defaults that ultimately allowed, um, you know, help financial or it lit, led to financial institutions failing. So it was a financial collapse. Now that financial collapse had extra domino effects that ended up crushing the real estate market. We just don't have that today. So we have historically low inventory. That has caused home prices to rise at a pretty good rate over the last several years. Um, beyond that, the, the low inventory, we have high demand. High demand from millennials. Like we're millennials right now, the, they previously were the largest demographic. And they're right now in their prime home buying age. Behind them is Gen Z. They are the largest generation in American history now, even more than millennials. And both millennials and Gen Z are significantly larger than Gen X. The Gen Z, they're just starting to turn like 21. I mean, they're basically just starting to get into the home buying or the, the home or uh, resident market. I mean, they'll be renters um, for, for a while. So that is a huge amount of demand that's coming into the market that already has low inventory. And that low inventory is getting a little bit of relief right now because of the interest rates. Um, but it also has, it's a double-edged sword. Interest rates have gone up, which is pulling some buyers out, but it's also pulling some sellers off the market too, because they realize, hey, look, you know, it's probably not going to get the best price that I could have a few months ago. Depends on the market. Um, so I think uh nar mentioned is like 20 percent year over year decline in pending listings for june so inventory is tricking up a little bit but it's not not really a lot like six months of inventory is normal we were below one like all this was actually going on before covid covid actually made it worse that put us like less than one month of inventory which is which is why we had insane bidding wars um so now depending on the market maybe anywhere between one and a little over two months of inventory. And um, I forget what the national average is, but it's still way below six. So we have a lot of demand, we have low inventory, and then we have, uh, we don't really have any promise right now of any surge in new construction because new construction has been lagging and they're pulling back because of interest rates. They're at an eight month consecutive month over month decline in confidence, the, the, the home builder confidence score. Meaning they're not really happy of, uh, about the outlook going forward for home sales. So they're just not gonna build as, much, as many, which ends up being this really complex problem. Low inventory, high demand, high interest rates. So will we have 2008? No. Is there going to be a slowdown? Yes. I think it's probably more of a slowdown of transactions, um, at least, especially temporarily. It'll all reset. We still have high inflation. The biggest winners here, homeowners, whether you're a landlord or own, owner occupant, do you own a home? Equity has been uh, rising significantly over the past few years. It won't continue at that pace, um, but it, it should still remain strong for the next several years. Um, and if you're a landlord, so will rents. Less buyers means more renters. And there's a lot more renters coming on the market with Gen Z. So um, that, that's where I, I've said there's always like black swan events and stuff like that that could throw a wrench in it. You know, if nuclear bombs start going off in Russia or something, <laughs> uh, there's always crazy things that, that could happen. And if someone has credible evidence to the contrary, I'm, I mean, I'm happy to consider it. If, 
if homes just went on sale like they did in 2008, like, man, I, would, that, I mean, I wouldn't be happy for the circumstance, but from an opportunity standpoint, I would absolutely take advantage of it. You just don't see it. 